guys, I figured I should quickly start off this video by announcing the giveaway winner for the November monthly favorites video. But the giveaway winner for this particular month goes to Jamie Chapman. I did already go ahead and message her on Instagram. I sent her like, oh, it's really washed out, but I sent her a slew of stuff. Congratulations, Jamie. I found your comment to be very inspiring along with everybody else's. Thank you to everybody that submitted. I will be doing a December favorites towards the end of the month for December. Just as a heads up. So technically there were two favorite videos this month, but you know, super spread apart. That's it. Congratulations, Jamie, and let the video continue. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. I was gonna get ready to film because I have a whole bunch of stuff that I bought from Target today, but I actually uh, cannot film it because my battery is dying. So I need to actually, it, I mean, it's dead. So I'm gonna charge it, leave that stuff there. And then I will. Oh, I'll put the stuff away that's not Christmas related, and then, uh, and then, and then we'll do a cute little Christmas decor thing. It'll be a lot of fun. Are you excited, Prince? You don't care, as long as you're hanging out with mom. Mm. All right, I will see you guys in a bit. But welcome back to Vlogmas Day 11. 10. 10. The camera has charged a little bit since. I last turned it on. It's not fully charged by any means, but I figured I would just get this video started because I'm super excited about it. But first, I got a package from EHP Labs, and I've been super excited to share this on the channel, but I've just refrained until I could actually try it on camera. So we're gonna do that right now. Oh, snap. I just literally messaged Clayton on WhatsApp and I was like, hey, what are the odds that we're gonna have like any type of holiday protein powder released? And then he was like, are you seeing this? Are you seeing it? Gingerbread cookie. Limited edition gingerbread cookie. I'm gonna let you sit with that for a minute. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make myself a shake. Uh, I'm hoping I get out of the frame soon. I don't have my glasses on, so. I think I'm out of the frame now. You guys know I'm like die hard about my mocha and my strawberry milkshake, and I've also been really liking uh, the delicious chocolate, but mocha's like my holy grail, so I just don't even know what to do. I'm gonna mix myself a shake, I'm gonna try this, and we're gonna see how freaking amazing this is. Be right back. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo. Okay. I don't even... I've had a lot of protein powders in my day. I've had a lot of protein powders that claim to taste like something that they don't taste like. This tastes like like a very perfectly sweetened gingerbread cookie in liquid form. If you've been looking for some sort of festive Christmas protein powder, you got it. Right here. It's just, it's great. <laughs> so I talked about this quite a bit. So I talked about this earlier. I went to Target. I went into literally by five things. I never meant to make this a minimal holiday decor haul. But I went in and literally everything was on sale because Christmas is in like under two weeks. So what did I do? I spent, I spent money. I spent money on things that I'll only have up for the next three weeks. But I'm totally cool with it because my mom taught me a long time ago and pretty much everybody does this, that when you buy your holiday decor, you just save it for next year and then you just keep using it until it's run down and then you're like, okay, maybe I should replace it now. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you guys the candles that I got and then I'm gonna show you the living room and then I'm gonna show you the sweets that I got and then we'll have like a talk about my thoughts on eating unhealthy during the holidays because I bought a lot of, I, I got a lot of candy. So anyway, let's show you the living room. I'm so excited. So first, here we have the living room before the, the new decor, but check it out now. Bam. Okay, it's still like very minimal, but I have my little Charlie Brown Christmas tree that is white that I won't be hanging any ornaments from except for maybe one if I could find one. 
and it lights up as you can see by the try me button that I'm using. I need to actually put batteries in it, but uh, you need a screwdriver and I don't, I forgot the batteries, so I'm just, you know, gonna be tacky for now. But yeah, and then I got a candle, the mistletoe ones, but I love buying candles from Target. Their soy candles smell so good and they just actually make your home smell good like they don't just sit there in the candle and look pretty it actually puts the fragrance throughout your house and then i got my cute little santa cup that i still need to wash i just put it up here for the decor purposes and then this little white gemstone i normally have the blue one there but i saw this white one couldn't resist it's christmas why not and then some popcorn that is decor and actually for myself as well this is the living room. I love it so much. I feel like it's just nice and minimal and the perfect way to like acknowledge it being Christmas. I replaced actually like all of the pillows except for these two here. So this is like my little faux oblong shaped pillow that I got from Target. So that's from Target. Everything on here is from Target. And this is a faux sheepskin like little throw that you, you put. And then this uh, tribal pillow, tribal print pillow I should say. And then a navy blue pillow which I have, like I had the white version of it and then another cool printed pillow. And then with this very soft burnt orange throw blanket. I felt it and I was like this is so, so nice. And I actually had to buy a replacement because my two old throw blankets are princes now. I use one for over the crate and then I put the other one in here. Hi baby, oh you're awake, do you wanna come out? Are you up from your nap time? He loves sleeping in his crate, honestly, like he'll just, he'll just stay there. I know you like it in there, cause it smells like me. Yes, it smells like me. Okay, come on, come out. Okay, hi. I'll quickly breeze through the rest of the stuff that I got that is uh, like holiday related. I got these cute little, little kitchen towels to put on the stove, they just say, Merry Christmas, and it has little Christmas trees on the other one. It's only five bucks, so I was like, okay. And then alongside that other candle I got, I have the gingerbread house one, which is probably my favorite. It smells exactly like the EHP Loves protein powder, but it smells really, really good. And then I have this sugar plum fairy, which is honestly, I mean, yeah, it's just plummy. It smells like plums. I wouldn't say it smells like Christmas, but it does smell like plums, and I'm okay with that. And then the last one is, oh, Christmas tree. It smells kind of like sweet and minty. It has notes of holly berry, balsam, and fresh cut wood. I was gonna say that. <laughs>
last night I was editing my video at around 10 30 p.m. and I remember nothing after that straight up I fell asleep at my laptop with my head <laughs> like this and then I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning and dragged my sad self to bed so so I did not end up getting to upload this video yesterday and I also did not get to film my opinion on how you should eat during the holidays or yeah just like what I think of it so in general I was not planning to make it a very long discussion um, I want to keep it very short and sweet because I don't think it needs to be sugar-coated I don't think it needs to be extremely explained I think it's, it's it's a very blunt statement on my end so I'm gonna say that to you my opinion on how to eat during the holidays is to just eat comfortably don't overeat to the point where you're binging on food and you know it and don't under eat the holidays are a time to be with your family to enjoy food to enjoy the presence of people not presence sorry the presence of people and to just be enthralled in this beautiful holiday spirit and so if that means having some pasta and some bread and some delicious cake or pie please by all means do that as Drake would say you only live once and I don't want anybody feeling like they need to track their macros or track the hot chocolate they have or any of those things during the holidays because because we're all just having fun we're enjoying the Christmas spirit we're enjoying the amazing luxurious foods that our families decide to all combine on together and then throw it onto a table for everybody to eat like you're telling me like not to eat that <laughs> no although I am back to tracking and I'm doing my lean bulk and everything there is no doubt in my mind that I will consume a lot of calories on Christmas Eve and Christmas and I'm not even fretting about it one because I'm lean bulking anyway and two because now I live in LA the only home-cooked meals I get are my own and I'm not as good of a chef as the rest of my family is you sure as hell believe I'm going to take advantage of that so if you've been worrying about how you should eat during the holidays if you should track on Christmas I'm here to tell you, girl, boy, do not worry about it. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the time with your family. If you're not going to be with family, enjoy the time with your friends. And if you're going to be alone, enjoy the time with yourself. But either way, do not hold back from eating what you love, especially during the holidays. All right. That's actually it for this video. That was my quick little spiel. I hope it helped you guys. Let me know what your opinion is on eating during the holidays and what you are most excited to eat for Christmas or Hanukkah, or the holidays, whatever it is that you personally celebrate. Okay, that's it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Vlogmas day 11, 12, 11. Yeah, all right. Love you guys so much.